Hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to give another example of question related to uh, continuity of a function. So here we are going to consider the behavior of functions sine x and cosine of x. And based on that, we are going to explain the continuity of function tangent x. So we call that um, tangent x is equal to sine of x over cosine of x or cos of x. And based on this, we can clearly see that um, hx is a composite function made of uh, dividing fx with gx. Yep. Okay, so in order to approach this question, I'm going to consider a visual approach that is by sketching the following functions given here. So we're going to start off with sketching sine of x. Okay, so in order to sketch a trigonometric function, there are several points that you can consider. The points which you can easily calculate the value of the function. So those points are given by uh, these values here, uh, 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And similarly, we have the same value, uh, just that the signs are all negative on this side of x-axis. So this is x-axis. Yeah. Okay, so let's start off with sketching sine of x. Okay, or plotting the points for sine of x. We know that when x is 0, um, the function is going to be equal to 0. When x is pi over 2, it's going to be equal to 1. So let's say this is point 1. So over here, when x is pi, it's going to be 0. When x is 3 pi over 2, this is going to be negative 1. When x is 2 pi, it's going back to 0. Um, so here we have uh, I'm going to connect the dots with uh, a smooth curve. Okay, so let's see. It's going to look more or less similar to this. And we know that a trigonometric function has a cyclic behavior, which means that it's going to repeat the same pattern for a certain duration of time. So if you consider uh, negative pi over 2, negative pi, negative 3 pi over 2, and negative 2 pi, you will see the similar pattern given here will repeat itself. Okay. So for negative pi over 2, we will have point negative 1. Negative pi is 0, negative 3 pi over 2 is 1, and negative 2 pi is going to be equal to 0. And again, we are just going to connect these dots here with a smooth curve. Okay, so something like this. Okay, right, let me just erase some of the messy part here. Okay, I think that looks quite all right now. Okay, yep. So there we go, we have done the uh, first function, which is sine of x which i'm going to label it next to this green curve uh, sorry red curve now i'm going to go on and continue sketching cosine of x so when x is zero the value is equal to one when x is pi over two it's going to be zero when x is equal to pi it's going to be negative one three pi over two is going to be zero and 2 pi it goes back to 1. Again, we are going to consider connecting the, the points here with a smooth curve, which is going to look like this, more or less, yeah.
right um next let's focus on the x values the negative values of x so when x is negative 5 over 2 it's going to be equal to 0 negative pi it's going to be negative 1 3 pi over 2 is 0 and negative 2 pi equals back to 1 and again connect the dots with um, a smooth curve okay something like this and let me just try to erase the messy part here okay yep i think that looks quite all right so now um i'm just going to label this curve here as cosine of x Now, based on the behavior of sine of x and cosine of x, which you have seen on this graph here, I'm going to consider sketching the next function, which is tangent of x. So I'm going to sketch tangent of x. I'm going to use a different space. And here is the x-axis. You can see the values given here are similar to the one given on this graph. And if you consider x equals to 0 and based on that we're going to see what's the behavior of sine of x and cosine of x when x is 0 so when x is 0 we can see that sine is 0 cos is 1 so 0 over 1 is 0 tangent is sine over cos so sine x over cos x so 0 over 1 you will see that this is going to be 0 for pi over 2, the behavior is 1 over 0, sine of x over cos of x. 1 over 0 and it becomes undefined. So at this point here, you will get no value of y. So I'm just going to represent the fact here with a, with a dotted line just to ensure that there will be no point plotted at this x equals to pi over 2 okay next when uh, x is equal to pi sine is 0 0 over negative 1 is 0 so here we got 0 the behavior for tangent of x is 0 and when x is 3 pi over 2 we have negative 1 over 0 negative 1 over 0 so then it becomes undefined and again there will be no value of y at this specific point of x equals to 3 pi over 2 when x is 2 pi uh, we have 0 over 1 so 0 over 1 the answer is going to be 0 for tangent of x now, in a similar manner, let's focus on the negative values of x. So, for negative pi over 2, you can see here the answer is negative 1 over 0. Negative 1 over 0, it becomes undefined at this particular point. So, I'm just going to make it clear that at this point, there will be no value of y at x equals to negative pi over 2. For negative pi, you can see that this is 0 over negative 1, so it's going to be equals to 0. Next, for negative 3 pi over 2, it's going to be 1 over 0. And again, 1 over 0, it becomes undefined at this point. So let us sketch a, a dashed line just to you know make sure that at this point, there is no value of y that will be accidentally plotted yeah now uh, for negative 2 pi you can see that this is 0 over 1 okay so sine of x is 0 cosine of x is 1 0 over 1 is 0 so there you go now we are going to consider 
what happened between 0 to pi over 2? What is the value of tangent x between 0 to pi over 2? Again, uh, tangent x is equal to sine x over cos x. Now, if you consider just the positive value, if you consider taking the absolute value of this function here, you will see that uh, from 0 to pi over 2, the behavior of sine, sine of x is increasing. It is increasing from 0 to pi over 2. It is increasing in nature. So sine of x is increasing. Whereas for cosine of x, the value is decreasing when x gets closer and closer to pi over 2. So cosine of x is decreasing. Because of that, you will expect that tangent of x is going to get higher and higher and higher as x gets closer and closer to pi over 2. But when x is pi over 2, it will not be defined. So we can see that it's going to be getting the value of tangent x is going to get higher and higher and higher, but it will not touch this dashed line given here. Okay, it will not touch the line here because at point pi over 2, it is undefined. So it just goes up in this direction, in this manner. Okay, and similarly, if you consider what's going on in this range of values, between 0 to negative pi over 2, you can see that if you consider just the absolute value, absolute value of sine x, you can see that the value gets higher and higher as x gets closer and closer to negative pi over 2. Okay, we are considering the absolute value sine of x, so it gets higher and higher, whereas for cosine of x, it gets lower and lower, so it is decreasing in nature. So again, because of that, you can expect the behavior of tangent of x or the value of tangent of x will be uh, higher and higher. But of course, uh, since it is uh, a negative sign for sine of x here, therefore, it is going in this direction. Okay, so it gets like this, but it will never touch the, the line where x is equal to negative pi over 2. So this is the behavior for tangent of x. And since tangent of x is a trigonometric function which, is, uh, which has a cyclic behavior, this sort of pattern is going to repeat itself for the next cycle. So you can see that for the next cycle here, it starts at this middle point and it will go up like this. Again, it will never touch the axis. And for this part, it's going in this direction. And it will never touch the line for x, x at x equals to pi over 2. Okay, so in a similar manner, this, is, can, this one here can be sketched as such. So it gets higher and higher, but will never touch this line. And similarly, here it goes lower and lower lower but never touch the line as well okay so that's the behavior of tangent of x based on uh, the behavior of functions sine of x and cosine of x so now if you want to explain the continuity uh, behavior or the continuity of this function here you can see that therefore Tangent of x is continuous everywhere except at except at this point and this point and this point and this point. So we can write down uh, plus minus pi over two, right? You can write down it is continuous everywhere except at plus minus pi over 2. Next, plus minus 3 pi over 2. And again, this is a cyclic behavior. So it's going to repeat 
in the same pattern so we know that it's going to be it's going to uh, be discontinuous at plus minus 5 pi over 2 or plus minus 7 pi over 2 or plus minus 9 pi over 2 and the pattern continues uh, in that manner okay all right i hope that um, this is uh, clear to you guys and thank you very much for watching